Hi there, this is Minav once again and welcome to RTT Videocast. In today's video, we will see 15 applications that will make you more productive on your Mac. Like always, all these applications are free and you can find the complete list along with their video timestamp in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Flux So Flux is a small utility that constantly changes the brightness and color of your screen such that it matches the external environment. So in the morning, you will see a bright screen, just like you normally do. In the middle of the day, it will become a little warmer. And at the night, Flux will add a orangish overlay, which will force you to sleep in time. And the best part is, everything is on autopilot. So you have to simply install this application and specify your location. And Flux will take care of everything else. So go ahead and try it. It is available on all major platforms like Windows, Mac and Linux. And if you are on Android, then you can try Twilight. Number 2. Caffeine So unlike Windows, Mac computers go to sleep very quickly, just after a few seconds of inactivity. And frankly speaking, I really appreciate this feature, as it is saving a lot of battery juice. But sometimes, it can become really annoying. For instance, let's say I am watching a video or reading a document. In that case, I will have to constantly move my cursor just to keep the screen awake. And this is where caffeine comes in. So what it does is, it prevents your Mac from automatically going to sleep. However, if you are looking for something that prevents your Mac from going to sleep even when the lid is closed, then try no sleep. Number 3rd Hidden Me Free On a Windows computer, you can easily hide a desktop icon by unchecking the show desktop icon option. However, there is no such option available on Mac. And that's where hidden me is useful. It lets you hide the desktop icon with a single click or you can also set a keyboard shortcut. Now me personally, I use it all the time especially when recording a video or taking a screenshot. Number 4. Image Optim So let's say you upload a lot of pictures on the web. Now before you do that, quickly run all those images through Image Optimizer and it will drastically reduce the image size but without affecting the visual quality. So as a result, your image will load much faster but still look the same. Overall, Image Optim is a must have application for all the bloggers or anyone who work with lot of images. Number 5. Flycut now, in a traditional operating system, whenever you copy something on your clipboard, the previous entry automatically gets removed, right? However, with Flyout Clipper, you can store up to hundreds of text entry. Now, there are clipboard manager that can also clip images or can even change the cases of your copied item, but all of them are paid and Flyout is the only one that I can find which is free, open source and does the job pretty well. Number 6. Clinch So let's say you have to compare two documents side by side. Now to do that on a Mac, you will have to manually resize the window, right? But with Clinch, you can simply hold the window and drag it to the corner of the screen. It will show you a preview and then automatically resize the window, similar to what you do in Windows operating system. However, if you prefer a keyboard shortcut, then you can use Spectacle. It is a free open source program that does the same thing but with keyboard shortcuts. Number 7. CC Cleaner or C Cleaner, whatever you like to call it. Now, this is a well known name in a software world and I don't think you need an introduction. However, I like to use CC Cleaner for two reasons. One, it provides an easy way to delete temporary files, and two, it provides a quick way to uninstall this application. Now I know both of these things can be done without using a software but with CC Cleaner you can do it pretty quickly and this is a strong enough reason for me to keep this app. Number 8. Handbrake Now Handbrake is a video version of Image Optim. Remember the image compressor we saw before? Well Handbrake is similar to that but it works with video. So what it does is, it compresses the size of your large video files into smaller ones without losing the visual quality. But is it any good? 
well let's see my last youtube video was around 1 gb and after running it through handbrake it was reduced to one fourth of its size so yes i use it religiously for all my youtube videos and no there is no loss in visual quality at least not detectable to human eye number nine mono snap now max comes with huge number of options built in like if you want to take a screenshot just use the shortcut command shift plus four or if you want to record a screencast then use the screen recording option under quick time however if you are a power user and need more option than that then use mono space so what does it do well you can capture the screenshot and then annotate it then and there or if you want to record your screen then there is also an option to record the face cam or specify the quality and frame of the video overall for professional this is the best you can get for free number 10 disk inventory x now hard drive space is not that much of issue like it was a decade ago however if your mac is running on ssd and you want to figure out where the heck is all the drive space going then use disk inventory so this application gives you block size representation of your hard drive space so larger is the box more space it is taking and it also shows you the respective location on the finder window so you can easily go there and delete it number 11 ntfs 3g the day i shifted to mac from windows i was surprised to see how incompatible this os is with popular formats like os x is not entirely compatible with ntfs formatted drive you can read the data from it but cannot write onto it now to fix that i had couple of options like formatting my hard drive to fat32 or xfat so that i can use it on both mac and windows but i didn't want to go through that tedious process so i used ntfs 3g so basically it lets you read and write a ntfs formatted drive on mac although there are few major changes that you will have to make so for details check out this article appearing in the youtube cards number 12 smart flix so last week in ces 2016 netflix announced that its service will be available all around the world this made me excited and i immediately signed up for their service however the jolly feeling ended when i discovered the content that they were offering in india was far lesser than what they have offered in united states and this is where smart flix comes in this application lets you watch the entire netflix catalog all around the world now what is the catch well apparently this app is free as long it is in beta but after that the developer claimed to charge seven dollar for a year which is a sweet deal however i don't know how this is going to play in future but as of now this is definitely worth a shot number 13 malware bite unlike windows there are very few malwares and viruses for mac operating system and i believe this is the only reason macs don't have a antivirus built in but if you're paranoid about your security and want something that can scan your drives for virus torsion and worms etc then malware bite is the best bet it is lightweight and don't put excess pressure on your system however remember that there is no real-time protection so make sure to manually run the scan time to time number 14 adapter every once in a while we feel the need to convert a video or audio files like say i want to change the resolution of my video or extract a mp3 out of a video file and in such situation adapter comes in really handy Basically, it is like a Swiss Army knife of video and audio converter worlds. Adapter is built upon FFmag, a popular command line converter. And you can do pretty much anything with your pictures, audios and videos. That is, you can change the format, change the resolution or even add a subtitle if you want. Overall, if you're looking for an audio video converter, then this is your man. Number 15. Download Shuttle so this one is the download manager which is a closest replica of idm in windows say you are downloading something on a web browser but after a while the connection gets terminated now if you retry then it will download everything from the scratch but let's see what happens if you download it with shuttle so copy the download link and paste it in the shuttle app 
and once you start the session it will break down the files in smaller part and then download them simultaneously so this will help you to get better download speed as compared to web browser and also there is a pause and resume option that work really well so even if your connection goes down you can resume it from the place you left and then you can also download the files from locked account that requires authorization like dropbox or something although the only thing i miss is the web browser integration like idm but other than that it is definitely worth it so this is all for now i hope you find this video helpful if you do then give this video a thumbs up it really helps and if you know a better application which was not mentioned in this video then let me know in the comment section below and yes from this year onwards i will be making more videos on mac and ios so if you haven't already subscribed to this channel please do it now and this is all for now it's minal signing off and like always thanks for watching